in the city that's known for its fearsome super gangs and mob culture and criminal enterprise. The Saints stand out as an example of the street corner gang that still hangs in its neighborhood to this day. There's a saying in Chicago, the street where you were born defines who you are, not your race or who you are. This is gang life. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I Went back to selling, six times failing I went back to prison, got my head right Got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up? JC, Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, tell me what you think. If you are part of my Wrong and Strong family, what's up, Raza? Suase la suburban. Let's put some gas so we don't end up in the wrong neighborhood. What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about gang life in Chicago. 45 and, and Wood has been home to the same street gang for over 60 years. Back then, most of the gangs in the backyards, and that's a neighborhood in Chicago I'll explain a little bit more about. But backyard, that's what they were called. Most of the gangs in the back of the yards were racist towards Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. But the Saints took them in right from the start. As long as they were good fighters, even though the gang was mostly Polish, they took them in. Emergency, we have shots fired on 45th and Hermitage. 45th and Hermitage, get us some units over here. The federal the agent, alleged shooter's Russia. attorney. Law enforcement sources telling us Godinez and his brother are the duet atop the almighty Saint Street Gang. Both men arrested during the citywide dragnet that followed Friday's wounding of the young ATF agent. Ernie Godinez at the moment he turned himself in. The prearranged surrender at Chicago Central District Police Headquarters. His last taste of freedom before turning 28 years old tomorrow. Godinez and his brother Rodrigo, both in federal custody tonight after a police sweep that followed the ambush early Friday morning here in the back of the yards neighborhood. Even though 37-year-old Rodrigo isn't charged in the shooting attack, law enforcement sources say he is co-leader with his brother of the Almighty Saints, a nearly 60-year-old street gang with ironclad control of the drug and gun rackets here in this swatch of the southwest side. Rodrigo has a lengthy criminal history, as does his brother Ernie, mostly gun and drug violations. According to investigators, the Godinez brothers' gang empire had been targeted by officers working here at the Chicago Crime Gun Strike Force, a fairly new squadron of federal, state, and local agents trying to interrupt the flow of illegal weapons. As undercover officers were changing the batteries in a tracking device on a suspect car near Ernie Godinez's home, he is charged with shooting at the agents, wounding one of them in the face. Despite $61,000 in reward money and impassioned pleas from police and public officials for community assistance, law enforcement sources tell the I-Team there were no tips offered by neighborhood residents in the ATF shooting, seen as an indication of the grip the almighty Saints gang has on residents. Prior to this the Saints event, slugged it out with their rivals and eventually the Saints had control of 43rd to 47th uh, Street from Bishop to Wood. The Saints were pretty much renegades. Most of them, uh, the time, they were, they were at war with you know both sides, folks and people. And um, they really didn't wanna, they, they didn't wanna choose sides when the whole, folks, the whole folks and people nation were created to create some kind of you know uh, structure. 
So when these gangs were going to the prisons, um, they didn't really want to pick sides and uh, they refused to join sides and they had that, that kill, kill anybody attitude. And in, in time, you know, they, they, uh, in a time that most gangs were finding it necessary to ally with others, they stood their ground. Um, the Saints finally gave in and actually joined the People Nation and clicked up with the Land Kings that they really didn't like to begin with. But it only lasted about five years. Um, one of the Kings shot a Saint and the Saints were more than willing to go to war with them. It's very unique and uncommon occurrence in Chicago for a gang to hold that same hood where usually territories lost over the years or it changes, um, just like Carini Green, State Street, all those neighborhoods have changed and they evolve into whether it's you know a, a nicer neighborhood or or it just changes from you know Mexican to blacks or blacks to Puerto Ricans and it changes. But the Saints are very unique, and this is what I mean. Um, you know, back in my day when I was uh, in that involved in that life and in, in the gang life, you know. Um, they very rarely came out of their neighborhood. They only came out of their neighborhood to go take care of business, you know, go shoot at another gang and stuff like that. And they're surrounded in an area where they're surrounded by the land souls, the Rasas, you know, two six as these were when the SDs were on 51st and Wood and um, and all that stuff. But they stayed in their neighborhood pretty much. And, and they their neighborhood goes back to family after family after family member you know holding it down so um and i will be talking about the rest of the gangs in chicago because like i said in the past uh chicago is a very very uh i call it homegrown they've homegrown a lot of gangs and uh they've been around for a very very long time i mean 1930s 1940s i mean you name it they've been around for over 60 years and there are some that are very, very unique because like, like the Saints, I wanted to actually make this video a while back already because their, their, their culture and, and how they, they carry themselves was very, very different to other gangs. A lot of the other gangs spread out to like the, the suburbs and, and other neighborhoods. And the Saints actually just held on to that turf that they had and just stayed there almost like instead of um, selling a bunch of McDonald's, they just kept one and made sure that that one was taken care of. And that's, I think, what's made them so strong and so uh, not able to give up any turf in their neighborhood. But also, it's created a lot of problems for them because since they're at war with everybody, when they go into the county jail now you're around all your enemies so it's been it's been a little tough and it's been you know it's been they've been getting hit hard but they also hit hard um like i told you guys in the past i don't glorify none of this lifestyle i share the information because of the culture and how i grew up um yes it's bad yes but it's the truth it's what's happening it's how we grew up it's what i seen every day so for me not to say nothing about it would be me not expressing how I feel and uh, how I grew up. So it is what it is. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong and this is Gang Life.